Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at fragments, introduce you to fragments. So fragments are uh, components that um, that govern their own, they have their own layout, they have their own uh, enclosed co uh, code that manages the events to these layouts, um, but they cannot live alone. They have to live within an activity. So they have to be included within an activity or another fragment. But uh, let's focus on giving you an overview of fragments. So how do you add a fragment? So basically I just created a project. It has nothing in it. It just has a main activity. Now to create a fragment, you go here, you right click, new fragment. And basically I'm gonna create the blank fragment. There it is. And I'll call it, for example, my, uh, let's say home fragment, for example. And I click on finish. Now what this creates is that creates the class for you. In addition, you see that there is a fragment layout that got created, okay? So I can go into the fragment layout and uh, let's say, hello, this is blank fragment. Let's say, hello, um, hello, this is, for example, we could say, hello, this is home fragment, right? This is home fragment, right? And then when you see here, it comes in with something called the frame layout. You can change that, make it a constraint layout. You can right click, convert it to a constraint layout. There it is. And now it became a constraint layout see here it says constraint layout and basically now you can go in and that text view you could specify its constraints and now it's a constraint layout so we can remove these constraints and then you have the text view I can just delete it add another text view here's a text view here we are and here is my text view add some constraints here it is I'm all of this layout is the layout for the uh, fragment right so here is the fragments layout here I'm going to say hello from home fragment there it is now the uh, the big question is that how do i add that fragment now if i need to add that fragment in the activity so when you look at the activity layout there is nothing in it right so basically it just says hello world there's nothing inside this is the layout for the activity right this is the main activity there are a couple of ways of adding a fragment to uh, an activity one option is to add it in the layout so i can go here search for uh, uh, I would like to have a fragment container view. You drag it and drop it. And then it asks you, where is the fragment that you want to add? It will give you a list of fragments that you have. And I have a home fragment. Cool. So I want to add a home fragment here. And it's a constraint layout. You could just uh, make the fragment take the whole screen if you want. Here it is. You could see that this is the activity uh, layout. And we added inside it the fragment, right? So basically, uh, let's extend the size of it to take the whole screen and now when I run this app it will say hello from the fragment right okay there we are and it says hello from the home fragment so that's one way of adding a fragment uh, to the screen the other way of adding a fragment to the screen is instead of adding it in a, a frame container view we uh, let's say I want to add it inside the constraint layout. You go to the to the activity constraint layout. So the activity again is the one that's going to host it. So you give it this an ID, and let's say for example, we call it for example the container view. For example, you give it an ID. Give an ID to the constraint layout of the activity, and then we go uh, to the main activity and add it dynamically. Add it using code, right? Use in runtime. To do that, get support fragment manager begin transaction and then say I would like to add and I'm going to use this pattern add where do you want to add it and what fragment you want to add r.id.containerView new home fragment and then commit so if you look at it it looks like it's a transaction and the transaction manager the the, the support ma the, the, um, the, the support fragment manager why we are using the support fragment manager because we are using the app compat activity which is uh, an activity that uh, uses the support library so you get support fragment manager begin transaction commit and then in between that you add we're adding this home fragment in this container view so when we run this it will do exactly the same thing okay so here is the fragment so either we add it through code uh, or we can add it in the layout right it's your choice uh, here right but this is how you add it through code now the fragment when you look at the code for the fragment there is a lot of code here uh, basically this the, the, the this part of the code all of this is related to passing a parameter 
parameters to the fragment when you are creating the fragment. So we're not going to care to worry about this and we're not going to worry about this for the time being. Right? And all these comments I'm going to remove. And also in the onCreate, there are no I'm not gonna handle any parameters. But if you look at the methods that the bare minimum, so these are the bare minimum methods when I run them, still the fragment runs and hello from the home fragment. Now notice that this method on create view this method inflates the layouts so this is the layout that represents and the fragment and is managed by the fragment so basically it inflates the layouts and then returns a view see here it's returning the view that represents that layout there is also another method called on view created so that gets called after the um, the view is created after that fragment is uh, displayed on the screen and this is on view created there is also another method called on create very similar to the on create of the activity there is let's see is there an on resume on resume there is an on resume there is similarly you have on a lot of on on attach on destroy this is when the fragment is being destroyed and similarly one another interesting one is on attach this is when the fragment gets attached to the activity so basically this fragment again lives inside the activity so now we can just try to see how does this relate to uh, the activity timelines so let's have a, um, a public static final string here tag equal let's say demo and similarly I'm going to add it in the activity just to show you how it does it relate to the activity so then in the on create I'm going to do log D this is the on create for the fragment so this is the home fragment on create right this is the on create for the fragment this is the on resume for the fragment to give you an idea of the the timeline or, or the life cycle of the fragment and here it is this one is the on create view here it is and then similarly the on view created for the fragment then the on attach this is the on attach and I don't think we will be able to demo on destroy in this uh, screencast, but uh, we can do that later. But anyway, so that's the home fragment. I will do the same thing for the main activity. You have the on create, on resume. Okay. And now I'll just add um, um, log D. This is the main activity on create. This is the main activity on create. And then similarly, I'm going to do the main activity on resume. All right, so now when we run this and we go to the locket and do demo and then basically what you could see is the following so let me delete this and run it again all right main activity on create so that gets to run first and you could see that this is the on create what it does is tries to inflate the layout for the main activity which is okay you know there's nothing in it and then gets the support uh, uh, fragment manager and tries to put the home active home fragment into this location in the layout right inside that container right and this triggers on attach so basically on attach gets called and then on create on create view right and then on view created because on create view will actually do what on create view it will return the the view the actually what the fragment the layout for the fragment right and then on view created is called after that and then you have the on resume for the main activity and then the on resume for the home fragment you could see that the fragment has its own life cycle but it's closely related to the life cycle of the activity so this is a very quick introduction of fragments and uh, the life cycle of fragments please let me know if you have any questions